Today on the newscast, will Hezbollah look to invade northern Israel and threaten the Galilee in a future war? Find out what the Iran-backed terror group is saying as we head to the Israel-Lebanon border next. Folks, Eric Stackelbeck here. Welcome to the Watchman Newscast. We've been talking so much over the past few weeks about the increase in tensions along the Israel-Lebanon border. It has really turned into a tinderbox as Hezbollah increases its provocations against Israel. We've got three breaking news updates on that front. And in a minute, we're going to head to the northernmost town in Israel, Metula. It lies just across the border from Hezbollah country, southern Lebanon. I went there recently with our good friend, Israel Defense Forces Reserve Major Elliot Chodoff. So we're going to take you to the front lines, quite literally, to the town of Metula. Before I do a few things, number one, if you have not subscribed to the Watchman News channel right here on YouTube, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you get alerts every time a new video is posted. And number two, or should I say three, we had three breaking news events over the weekend regarding the topic at hand today, the Israel-Lebanon border and Israel-Hezbollah tensions. Before we go to Matula with Elliot, I want to break down these three events. They're very important, folks. And the mainstream media, surprise, surprise, is virtually ignoring them. Number one, a senior Hezbollah commander said over the weekend that in the coming war between Hezbollah and Israel, Hezbollah is going to take the battle into the Galilee. That would mean that Hezbollah forces would invade, essentially cross the Israel-Lebanon border into northern Israel and swarm over the Galilee region. Now, Sheikh Hassan Nasrallah, the leader of Hezbollah, has threatened to do this many times. Can Hezbollah actually pull that off? I don't think so, folks. But what I think they could do, God forbid would be to perhaps momentarily or for a few minutes uh, seize a town or, or a village in northern Israel, not even seize it, just plant that green and yellow Hezbollah flag on Israeli soil, take pictures of it, and beam the images across the world. That would be a massive propaganda victory for Hezbollah, and they know that very well. And certainly the intent to invade Galilee and northern Israel is there, that is why Hezbollah dug several terror tunnels that thankfully the Israel Defense Forces uncovered a few years back. We took you inside one of those terror tunnels, as a matter of fact, right here on the Watchman newscast. So threatening Galilee, and in the same breath, this senior Hezbollah commander said, when, if and when Israeli tanks cross into Lebanon, they'll make it into, quote, a graveyard, and those tanks, those Israeli soldiers, will never make their way out of Lebanon. The usual boasts and threats by Hezbollah, but I think the key point there was yet again, he referenced the Galilee. So I think Hezbollah's intent there is pretty clear. Second major event over the weekend, well, this happened late last week, actually, Hezbollah clashing with Lebanese Christians. Now, just outside of the Lebanon capital of Beirut, along the Damascus-Beirut highway, the highway linking those two capitals, a Hezbollah convoy was passing through and one of their trucks overturned. Now, reportedly, according to sources in the region, that Hezbollah truck, surprise, surprise, was packed with advanced weapons supplied by Iran. Hezbollah was looking to transit those weapons into the hands of its fighters, but the truck overturned outside of Beirut in a Christian neighborhood. The Christians apparently surrounded the truck and say, hey, what's going on here? Some fire was exchanged. Uh, at least one Christian was killed and reportedly one Hezbollah member was killed. But interesting to see, look, Lebanon is 35 perhaps 40% Christian, remember, and also split among Shia and Sunni, obviously. Hezbollah is a Shia powerhouse in that country. But interesting to see tensions rising between Lebanon's Christians and Hezbollah. And the third event I wanted to mention before we go to Matula with Elliot, yesterday in Matula, that's one of the reasons we're going to Matula, just outside of Matula, right over the border fence, a Hezbollah operative who was known to the Israel Defense Forces hurled a Molotov cocktail, a firebomb essentially, uh, at the border. Apparently he damaged some, some water infrastructure there, but no serious damage. But 
you know, walking up brazenly to the border and hurling a Molotov cocktail, this is a Hezbollah member, uh, another provocation, folks. We've seen a number of such incidents over the past few months, and incidents much more serious than that, a dangerous, precarious time along the Israel-Lebanon border, folks. And that's why I want to take you there right now for an eyewitness, firsthand, up-close look from the beautiful town of Matula, which sadly lies in the shadow of Hezbollah country, southern Lebanon. Here's my interview with Israel Defense Forces Reserve Major Elliot Chodoff from Matula. Take a look. Elliot, welcome back to The Watchman, my friend. Thanks, it's great to be back with you. It's great to have you, and you know, you and I, here on The Watchman Show, we like to go where the story is. Elliot, this is where the story is, where we're standing right now, the Israel-Lebanon border. Tell our audience where we are right now and why it is so important. Absolutely, Eric. We're standing over Matula, which is the northernmost tip of Israel, the northernmost town in Israel. Along that road, that road is inside Lebanon. Yeah. The border itself is down further along the tree line. Okay. Okay, and it follows around the edge of Matula. Actually, Matula describes the border of Israel. It comes all just where you see the edge of the houses, yeah. the edge with the red roofs. Along there, that's right. Beautiful and area, by the way. Gorgeous. Beautiful, gorgeous. mountainous. Yeah, if Hezbollah wasn't right over there, it would be perfect. <laughs> We'd be okay. <laughs> And then it loops around this way and, and behind us over here. So we're, we're right now surrounded on three sides by Hezbollah. The Mediterranean coast is out that way. Right. The border comes off the coast and along that entire border, we have a problem with Hezbollah. But as it turns northward this way, we have an additional problem because along here, as it curves around, we have Hezbollah on both sides. Okay. so. Just one more time. Yeah. On that side, Hezbollah is to the north of us. Gotcha. And so that's a problem. They're facing us. Oh, see the us. map right here of Matula okay. and the area. But in this area, it's on three sides. So this particular town is actually the tip of a finger that has Hezbollah all the way around it. Wow. What that means, and we know we've announced the, the finding and destruction of a bunch of Hezbollah tunnels. Which we're gonna talk about a bit later and You're get right. maybe an up close look at that area. Six officially, I'll emphasize officially. Uh, the purpose of those tunnels was to facilitate what the head of Hezbollah, Hassan Nasrallah, has yeah. declared. One of his objectives is to conquer the Galilee. Now, they're not gonna conquer the Galilee, but Nasrallah, as usual, a bit of truth and lots of lies. Yeah. They do have a plan to conquer land in the Galilee. Gotcha. And the idea of the tunnels, and particularly in a place like Matula, there's a road that comes up this valley into Matula. Mm -hmm. It's the only road in. If that road is cut, Matula is cut off. Nightmare scenario. Totally nightmare scenario because their objective is not to take the ground. Their objective is to take the people and kill them. Look, this is the northernmost tip of Israel. They're on the edge of the civilized world here, right behind us, has, has block country. What's life like here in Matula? Could you break down this community a little bit? Talking about a farming community, this land was purchased back over 100 years ago. The, the Turks were here. It was all Turkish, Ottoman yeah. Empire. Then the British and French came in, separated what the French called the Mandate of Syria, which included Lebanon of today. The British called the Mandate of Palestine. Again, a whole story why Palestine, and Man right? right? Uh, but they drew the line around Matula. Okay. And the fields became part of the French mandate. When Lebanon came into existence, now it's Lebanese territory. And here, you know, we talked about the border. And it came into existence when? In the 40s. In the 1940s. So people at home realize the, the modern Middle Eastern map is pretty recent. It's all in the last hundred years. Something I should mention here, because I think it's really important. I mentioned the border before we talked about it. You know that Israel and Lebanon don't really have a border. How's that? Because a border is a recognized line between two countries. Lebanon doesn't recognize the existence of Israel, so it can't have a border with Israel. We have a UN certified line that we withdrew to in 2000. 
And the UN said, as, as far as the UN is concerned, Israel has withdrawn from all of Lebanese territory. Lebanon has never recognized that we exist on this side of the line. So it's not a border, it's a UN demarcation line. And that's not just Hezbollah not recognizing. I'm talking about the Lebanese government. The Lebanese government which Hezbollah has kind of co-opted in a lot of ways, yeah. But we're talking about Lebanon yeah. ever since there's been a Lebanon. Yeah, and what a beautiful, I mean, there, we see the fog rolling in a bit here, Elliot. It's just a beautiful, yeah. mountainous region. It's a beautiful place to live. It it's a vacation spot. Yeah. Uh, you know, there are a lot of hotels in Metula. We stayed in one last night. Yeah. There's a beautiful community center with an ice skating rink, right. the Canada Center. Uh, so this is a place people come to to go on vacation. And yet. And yet. That's Israel. Thanks again to our good friend, IDF Reserve Major Elliot Chodoff for those great insights on the ground in Metula, Israel. Folks, if you like that clip and you want to see more like it, be sure to tune in every week to our Watchman TV show on TBN. Now, we're on the newscast here on YouTube every day, but we also have a weekly TV show where we are on the ground in Israel and points beyond throughout the Middle East, Europe, and elsewhere with the on-the-ground perspective of what's happening and why it matters to you every Thursday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Time on TBN, and then Fridays at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Also, quick programming note, this Wednesday, August 16th, a Watchman newscast live stream right here on the channel between 4 and 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Be sure to join us live and bring your questions for our Q&A session on August 16th. And remember, amid all these boasts and threats by Hezbollah, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob quite literally laughs. So be encouraged and take heart because God Almighty still sits on the throne. Thanks for joining us here today on the Watchman Newscast. Until next time, God bless you. And remember, never hold your peace. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the Watchman Newscast. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you never miss an upload. And tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. And don't forget to share your thoughts, insights, and comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow.